So in today's video, I'm going to a property that I'm thinking about doing a short term rental on. That could be VRBO, Furnish Finders, Airbnb, all of the above, right? I'm not necessarily looking to buy a bunch more houses. I just want to kind of get in between the current owner and the short term rental guests. So what we're going to do is go visit the property, see if it's something that I even want to do. And I'm not going to be managing, right? You're going to meet Clarence. He is the short term rental master. So he runs everything. I'm just going to get in the middle and put up some of the money for the staging and perhaps for the lease. So what we want to do is pay the landlord his monthly rent and then we collect the money from the short term rental on the back end. So let's go take a look at this house and see if we're going to walk through it with the owner first to see what he's thinking. And then I'm going to walk back through it with Clarence, the short term rental master. So he know he could tell me what to look for and how much he thinks it's going to cost to turn it up to make it look like a short term rental. You're going to be shocked because some people think short term rentals need to be beautiful, warm and fuzzy all these uh, uh, grandiose property when in reality, short-term rentals are just ordinary pieces of real estate sometimes. All right, let's go. So we're pulling up to the house here. Let's see. Not, neighborhood not too bad. The only drawback is we're here off of Shell Road, which is still not the end of the world, but that's our subject house there. Let's get inside and meet my guy to see what we can do here. Okay, so before we go inside, let's take a look at the exterior of the property to see what it looks like. Smitty, let's give us a little pan there. House looks very nice. Roof looks good, windows good, exterior is good. And thank you, Smitty, for working with us, brother. Oh, you're welcome, Chris, my pleasure. And we always have to look at the surrounding neighborhood. Looks like we have pride of ownership, people taking care of their properties, grass looks good, roof's good, windows good. Smitty, you see anything out of the ordinary? Not at all, this is a pretty decent neighborhood. Other than that, what is that down there? Is that a? Kids playground. Looks like a tiger, zoom in on that thing, what is that? What is that down there, can you see that thing? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so the good thing about this one is Airbnb, it doesn't matter if you, let's go this way. The neighborhood isn't as as important when you do Airbnb, but when you, I'm sorry, when you do regular rentals, people might not like, we've got a street called Shell Road over there. It's got a little bit of crime going on. Not the best neighborhood, but short term people, they're in and out, they don't care about the neighborhood. I, matter of fact, I just had somebody murdered in the parking lot of one of my Airbnbs, in the parking lot. Shot the dude up. No, nobody would, the short term rentals don't even care. Michael, you here, brother? Come on in, come on in. Yeah, let's do it. Smitty, oh yeah, come on in. Brother Michael. All right now. How you doing, sir? I'm doing well, good to see you, man. Good to see you too. Good to see ya. Everybody, this is Michael. We are here today. Give us a little story about what's going on, brother Michael. And you first of all, tell me about you. Oh, me? Well, I'm, I'm a real estate investor. I buy and hold, got a, got a few rentals. And um, that's what I do for a living. Good. Um, I just got this house back. Um, mm, dum, bum, yeah, yeah, bum, yeah. Bum, <laughs> yeah. There's a story to every house getting back. Let's so. hear it. If you yeah, want well, uh, sure. I, I had a tenant in here. And, traditional. Uh, traditional tenant, yeah. A traditional yeah, tenant. Yeah. And, um, you know, we had... Uh, private pay, if you will. Private pay, yeah. We had, they had, uh, I think, two or three children. And uh, they were in here and they had... Some adult children, they wanted to add to the, uh, yeah, yep, yeah, there's it, the children. They wanted to add to the lease, and I couldn't add any more adults to the me, lease, yeah. yeah. So the word we got back from them is we know how to get out of a lease, so. That's real grimy. Yeah, so we began the uh, eviction process. Did which, they stop paying, or what? Yeah, they stopped paying, and we began the eviction process, and. Uh, how long did it take? We settled up. Well, we, we had a court date and everything, but once we send them the letters, they came back undeliverable. Ooh. So I had one of my maintenance guys drive by, look in the windows, look around, knock on the door first. Mm -hmm. No answer, no answer. The house is vacant. Good. So God. we have no, no idea lucky. where they're at. What? So, yeah. Because we did have another one. We just had to go to court. It took from September till just a couple of weeks ago to Five get them out. Months. Yeah, yeah, on this one, it worked out. <laughs> we didn't People have to think being a landlord, Michael, is the easy thing, and you just sit back and you collect rent. Uh, not me. <laughs> no, you know, it, it, um, sometimes uh, it appears to be that way, but it's work. It's work. So. Especially when you're doing, I'm, I'm, you're, I'm, you're, it's honorable you're doing private pay. Yeah. Challenging. 
It, it is. It's very challenging. We do have a few Section 8, and we're, we're no looking. No problems with them? No, not with pay. Mm -mm. No. No, no they problem pay. with Section 8. No problem. I'm yeah. surprised you wouldn't just do all Section 8. We got to do the inspections and all that. Yeah, yeah. Little by little, I have a couple. Uh, one I just rented around the corner, and we're waiting for our inspection. Of course, it yes. inspections. Backed up. This one now is about three weeks. So, yeah, yeah just wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's just say that is mm -hmm. part of the beast. It is, it is. So we saw you the other day and we're thinking about maybe not, not locking in. We're setting this up for a short-term rental. You, you're getting paid and we're making a little bit of money. I am. I'm all for that. I think uh, in this business, it, although it can be very difficult, it can be win, win, win for everybody. Mm -hmm. Strategic alliances is yes. what we call that. So let's give us a tour, my friend. Let's see what we got. Right. This is the living okay. room here. This is the living room. And Are you uh, doing, do you want to do any work to it, first of all? Oh, yeah. We, we definitely have to do some work to it. We, we started by cleaning, hauled okay. bunches Was and bunches nasty, of trash. Nasty. Very, very nasty. So we got it clean it. just to where we can get in here and start working. <laughs> Did you have to get a dumpster, Michael? Uh, no. Three loads in my pickup truck. <laughs> So three. three loads in my pickup truck. You sound yes, like Smitty. <laughs> so nice cabins uh, you got. Yeah, they're decent. You know, we, stuff. Oh, this is your we, stuff? Yes, yes. Okay, we came in and started doing a little cleaning. All right. Um, and we're, we're having fun trying to get the crayon marks off of the walls. I see this. That's a, a new experience. <laughs> These are nice cabins. So, yeah. in good shape, bro. Yeah, they're not too bad. Not too bad. We had the whole the whole face of that came down. So we're we're doing a little fixing up first before we get all the crayon okay. marks off the wall to get ready to paint it. And so you're going to paint it. What else you're going to do? So uh, give me a visual of what we need to possibly do. Well, my my intent was to clean it up and paint it real good. But okay. all right. I've never done an Airbnb, so that's I'm where you, I, want, Let's do it. I want to know what. What uh, here? what is needed? So kitchen, it's a one bath, it's one, bathroom. one bathroom there. Might have to do new doors, maybe. Right, I, that's store. what I was thinking. My daughters just left. They said you need that new doors, Dad. Yeah, <laughs> these doors are. Yeah, they've done their. So, bathroom looks good. It's a bathroom. Now, do you have these other tenants that are still here too? I see one is in a tub. <laughs> he, he, you know, he just came out. He, he didn't even greet me. <laughs> no, they, oh, we always bring the exterminators in once they, uh, right. once the people get out, we'll bring the exterminators in. <laughs> now, he, you don't, you're not aware of there being a infestation. No, no not aware of. It. Right. Not aware of. It. Here. Mm. Okay. All right. So we got tile and floor. Why, any particular yeah. reason you did floor tile all the way through? Uh, no, I think it, it came. It came with it. It came with oh, it when we got it. right. Floor. Yeah, when we when we picked up the house, it came with it. We just left it in. You got the floor. So, yeah. What do you think? You gonna keep the floor like uh, this? Or well, um, you open for I'm thinking. It, it, I, I'm open for suggestions, and I I kind of sense uh, LVT. <laughs> yeah, LVT. Yeah. Mm -hmm. this. Why would they let these yeah. kids? Oh, I got yeah. a one year old. I don't let my kid walk around the house with. Look at this, man. They were that they were they were off. pretty thorough. It is. We're we're experimenting with it, and it, it, it's you, not. You paint it once. That coat, you know, one coat of paint ain't gonna do. No, nothing. no, it comes no. Comes right no. through. Yeah, absolutely. You gotta put that special kills and stuff. Yep. So this is mm -hmm. three. Be How many bedrooms is this? This is a two bedroom with two what bedroom. I call a bonus room. So bonus room. Okay. This is the bigger room, bigger oh, bedroom okay. here. There's a bedroom here. Mm-hmm. And this is closet. Yep, a closet. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. so you walk through here. What yeah. do we got here? So, well, I, I call it a bonus room because okay. I guess it's not officially a bedroom. A from up there. So this is a bonus room. What right. can we use this for? What were they using it for? You know, the first something? tenants we had in here used this for a prayer room. Okay. You know, for some private meditation. Warm room, and prayer stuff. room. And, yep, and then... And then the laundry room. So what would you think? I'm just trying to visualize. What could we use this for? Submit it you too. What, what would you think about using this room for? Just a little den, probably. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to think. What could we do? I would hate to not put it to work. Right, right, yeah. Now, there's an exit outside of the uh, laundry room, but not in this room. Yeah, and I have oh, that blocked off. Okay, yeah, I have that blocked off. That leads right to outside. Are these yours or? No, they, they left them behind. I'll be. I'll probably put them at the road. Let somebody grab them. There you the, go. The, Free wash and yep. dryer. They just left your wash and dryer for you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They look that like they're looks, in good shape. That one looks. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. You want no, to? I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, darn. Yeah, I don't yeah, know about that. yeah. I don't think that works. 
No, I, I seriously doubt it. <laughs> All right. Seriously doubt it. Any questions you have for me? I would like to get my guy back over here to kind of just let him put his eye on it. He is okay. the master at doing this. Mm -hmm. I am kind of like the middleman. I've helped pay for repairs. Mm -hmm. And I put deals together with my friend Clarence. Clarence. He's okay. got a bunch of them. We have several together. Okay. He's got more. But I would like to show him this. You have a ballpark number. If we could say what X amount of rent would you be looking for if we were to do a deal and we could just mm -hmm. manage it and oh, pay mm -hmm. you pay you your monthly rent, uh, Michael? Um, that would that would depend on how much I need to put into it. Okay. Uh, I haven't done an Airbnb before, so it's all new to me. So yeah. I'm hoping to, you know, learn from you. Yes, you are. You know. So I'm, I'm open to looking at you open? proposals you have. Yeah. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, let's do it. Strategic alliances. Easy to work with. We can tell him what we can do. He can yay or nay it, and we'll move on either way. Part ways as friends. If we can't do this deal, maybe we'll pick up on the next one. So can I get uh, what I like to do is, let me ask you about the flooring. Is there anything you want to do here to level this stuff off, or are you just you good with it? Uh, I'm actually I'm okay with it, but I'm not living here, but I'd rather your guy look at it and, yeah, and, like and make that decision. Yeah. Smitty, just want me to stand over there a little bit. You can see I have got a little bit of a lean. Right, just a little, little bit of a lean here. Did you, now, do you know, what, is anything going on under there, or is that just settling, Michael? I think it's just settling. Gotcha. But yeah, I, it doesn't I, seem I, major. I don't, yeah, it, it doesn't seem to be, you know, I don't see any cracks in the wall. So. You're right. I'm How guessing it's settling. I think I've had this one for about three years. Yeah. Take a look. Nice yard. Whose playpen is that in the back? Uh, that was the, the tenants that were here two tenants ago. They they left what? it behind, but it's not in the best shape. I'm thinking I probably need to take it down. Oh, you know, okay. once you get up and close, you'll see. We're not going to go into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, so I'm the central guessing. heating in there is good, Mike? Uh, yes, we put that in new, so it's about three or four years three or four years old okay cool yeah right. uh it's got right. gas heat okay yeah so the next step for us is man, let's get clearance over here so you've seen the property with the owner we kind of went inside and walked through it so now i want you to walk through it with my business partner clarence he is the master at actually doing these airbnb short-term travel nurse travel nurse rentals right so we're going to walk through it together and i want you to see his opinion because I'm relatively new to actually doing short-term rentals. So let's do it with Clarence. Clarence, what up, homie? What's going on, Chris? What's Good up, Roundup? So you want to tell me about what you got here? I hold it. You can tell us what your opinion is on okay. the exterior of this property here. Okay. Clarence Harris, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on, Roundup? So the first thing that I like to look at is let's just look at the general exterior curb appeal. And so immediately looking at this property, to be honest, I've seen a lot worse. So me too. Um, it appears that mm, there's some issues with some of the vinyl, but most of the vinyl looks okay. Can we get by with that, Clarence, or do you think we need to do that? <sighs> I've never seen side just wear out like that. Yeah, it's old, huh? It is old. Country mouth. Uh, if you can actually get that done, you know, maybe just replace some of it. Yeah, I think so. Most of it looks like it's in good shape. Yeah. So, looking at the, the siding. Paint. Yeah, this is just paint, paint right here. Can we get by? My thing is the short-term rentals. Are they really going to look at that? Because our pictures are going to be, when we take a picture of the property, it's going to be way back here. Right. Well, be? when they're looking at it online, it Let's may not see. show up. But when they come there, yeah. their first impression Gotcha. You know, they might look at it and say, oh, this don't look right. Gotcha. And that might gotcha. affect their whole stay. So if you can do something to spruce it up. Gotcha. From How the front, the, I think the we should. Skirting there, Clarence. Do we need to paint that skirting? Yes. All right. I would. Okay. So siding, skirting here. Gotcha. Yep. I paint these rails as well. Just a fresh coat of paint on the exterior. Yes, sir. Gotcha. Yeah, you can keep the white trim, but everything else I will go ahead and paint. Gotcha. Okay. Yes, sir. So, since we're not looking at the back, we don't, I mean, with a, with a short-term rental, even care what the sides in the back look like? Not when you put the listing up. However, some folks do like to be outside where they can do a barbecue and things like that. So, right. some guests will utilize the backyard. So let's if walk you can, through. Yeah, let's yeah. Let's walk through and let's look at the back then on the way. Come oh, on, let's, let's okay. Walk you want to go right Yeah, through. let's go through, look at the house, and then we'll do the back. Okay. So they're good. not, the sides is irrelevant. Right. It's, okay, cool. So the back. Okay, 
Hmm. So, walking in, the first thing that I notice is what my nose notices. Which is? Some sort of mildew, moldish um, type of smell. So, we might need to investigate what that stemmed from. Otherwise, we could probably do something like ozone treatment if the issue is taken care of. Um, All right. What's the ozone treatment claims? I don't even know. Ozone treatment. So they have different devices. So if you have certain smokes, certain smells, you can use a ozone device, which basically purifies the air and mm -hmm. it leaves it with a more chlorine, fresh smelling presence. So okay. Is it going to get rid of the smell though? I mean, what, it the, will. The problem still there? It will. Not, not if the underlying problem is still there. It will eventually come back out. So we come do back. need to see if there is an underlying problem or... Maybe get a termite inspection? Yes, sir. Gotcha. Okay. How about here in the kitchen? Oh, that's all you see in the living room? We're good in the living room? Well, not really. <laughs> I mean, you should let's, be here checking it out. Okay, let's look at this floor. Very outdated. So we need new flooring here? Need new flooring. You know, we could put right. a laminate or a vinyl plank flooring right in here. Okay. Um, of course, the walls, fresh coat of paint. Gotcha. Um, it doesn't... See where you got some things that were patched up. So it doesn't look like you got to do any other drywall repair. So fresh coat of paint. Let's Flooring in here. fix this floor. How about a fan up there? We need to put a fan or are we good with a light? <sighs> that light is old looking. Yes. And for the cost of what it takes to get a fan, I would just put a ceiling fan up there. I would too. Okay. I mean, yep. you're the man on that though. All right, coming into the kitchen. All right, let's look in the kitchen. Similar to the living room, flooring very outdated. So immediately we need to switch out this flooring. Again, paint on all the walls. Gotcha. Uh, let's look at the stove. So we got a gas stove. It's not so modern looking. Uh, you could actually go on a, a site like offer up and get very modern looking <laughs> appliances so new, for new a stove, very new yeah. range. Yep. Did you put a microwave there or what? I'm concerned about the kitchen clearance. Doesn't ha it doesn't have enough cabinets, but not to say that you need them. I'm just thinking about, for the, about the pictures we're going to put on the site. Right. Well, if you're doing short-term rentals, you don't necessarily need a lot of cabinet space. Now, he didn't really win. I ain't even mad at him. That's his stuff down there. Yeah. The other thing that I usually like in a short-term rental is a dishwasher. So there is no mm -hmm. dishwasher here. So that would be one thing that I would recommend putting in. Where would you put it, Clarence? If you take out another cabinet, you ain't got no cabinet. Then we probably are gonna need to build a couple of more cabinets. Up top? Yes, I think we could go right in this boom, area. Boom, boom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dishwasher. Yep, I would definitely, definitely recommend a dishwasher. Gotcha, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so how refrigerator looks salvageable. Okay. How about these floors with the little gangster lean? What are you thinking about the way they feel when you walk up and down? There appears to be some leveling issues. Okay. So, I don't know the exact saw for that. I do know some. If we know it can be fixed, I just want to know your opinion on getting it rented. If it can be fixed, I think we're we're good to go. If we can, that we needs can to be, fix that's it. What, that's something that needs to be done. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. Yep. All right. Let's get see, check out the exterior. All right. So right now we're already at fixing this floor ain't gonna be the cheapest thing, but it can be done. Yes. Maybe several thousand. I don't know if the owner wants to do that. Maybe that's why he hadn't had a good luck with having tenants. Right. You good. I'll let you just walk down there and tell me what you think about this. Okay. So, we're outside in the backyard. Again, the vinyl looks in pretty good shape. So, mm -hmm. I think we're good here. Maybe a pressure wash. Good to go. The steps. I would hit this with paint. Good, good coat of paint. Um... Hmm. Got, gotta go. got a little swing set. I don't know. That looks like it might not huh? be safe, my brother. I'm neutral as to what we could do. 
whether we remove it or keep it. Well, kind of neutral. I'm scared a kid get on there and get hurt, Clarence. What about that shed? Does that matter? That shed, shed appears to be an good. eyesore. <laughs> okay. Um, I think if we can Ooh. put some new vinyl up top, resurface that wood, not that it would be accessible for the guests, but this would be good utility for you as the operator gotcha. to put your own materials in there. Okay. So out here, all we got, all we got is paint. Yep. Okay, good. He says the central heating and air is only a few years old. It looks like it's, well, from, based on the, from the rust I see, it feels like it's a little older than that, but I have to get an expert to look at that. All right, so we got bathroom clearance. All right. There's some leveling issues in the floor, so. I think it's that same problem going in through, through to the kitchen. Right. Um, looking at the bathroom, looks kind of old, dusty, dingy looking. Um, we may even consider new trim, possibly. That's an old six foot, six inch trim. Yeah. Hard to match up. So it's hard to match up, bro. Yeah. Okay. It's new going doors, to right? Absolutely. New doors. Let's go into the bedroom. Same thing. Flooring. Replace the flooring. Paint. Paint throughout. We're done here. Yep. All right. Primary bedroom. New doors. It is doing good to go. Yep. Paint, flooring, new doors. Let's see, we've got a closet right here. All right. This is a closet, full walls. Yep. So what about this room? This is my big concern here. What are we doing with this room down here? Well, this looks like it is a bonus room. Yeah, well, it was a bonus room, but it's inside of a bedroom, though. It is inside of a bedroom. However, Oh, here's your laundry back here as well. Mm -hmm. Can this be utilized or can this be marketed and make, it, make money? It can because you can put another sleeping station right in here. Okay. Yes. You even, though, even though you have to walk through a bedroom to get to it? Yes. It's no different than if you just had one big bedroom where you could put multiple sleeping stations in. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. I like that. So this is considered, how many sleeping stations can you get in here, Clarence? I think you could get, in this room, you could put a king or a queen in here. So maybe you want to go with a king. Mm -hmm. um, in here, you could definitely get away with a full over full bunk bed. So you could have a whole family right in here. So you got two sleeping stations in here. Yes. One in here. Yes. And two, one or two in here. I think the size of this room, you probably wouldn't, you could get away with a queen, but it's probably gonna be a little bit more elbow room if you had a full. So gotcha. you could either go a single full bed or you could go with a full over full bunk bed. And then there are some options where you can go with a tri-level bunk bed. All right, as well. well, we don't wanna give them too much. So do we have to do this bathroom over, Clarence, or just fix the floor and then paint? I would say fix the floor, paint the, yeah, the sinks looks pretty good. Clean it up. Put some trim work down on there. So you good with the vanity? We, we can keep all this stuff? Yeah, I would keep that vanity. I think we could. Man, this thing. I'm just nervous about this joint. Oh, yeah. We probably have to do a surround here, man. Just to be safe. I don't know, brother. What do you think? See, like it's coming off the wall. Yeah. Just depending on the budget that someone would have, we might want to do a surround. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anything else you want to say? What, what, you got a ballpark number in mind to do all this stuff here? What? Mm. Wouldn't really know. What? 12,000? Do, do the floor, flooring? I'm thinking, paint. you know, maybe f four to 5,000 in the flooring. Mm -hmm. Paint. That's a couple of thousand dollars right there. Modify the cabinets, new cabinets. 
You're talking about. <clears throat> You're at least at 10. Yeah, minimal. Okay. All right. Anything else you want to say to the roundup homies about this one? Um, hey, I think it has potential. If you got the money to put into it, this could be a very good short term rental. So, okay. all, right. all right, roundup. See what we can put together. So, we're going to keep here. We're going to keep working roundup and see. Um, uh, I'm going to keep you abreast of how we move forward or how we don't move forward on this one. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can see how we're moving forward. You know, I'm just looking at getting more income producing properties. Passive cash flow is where you want to live. All right. Subscribe to the channel, like this content and share with anybody else that wants to get into the real estate business, but doesn't necessarily have the money to buy a house right now. Airbnb arbitrage is a way to pick up cash flow without actually having to own the house. See you in the next video. Peace.